Hey guys, welcome back again in the Music Sigma classes. So today in this lecture we are going to discuss on how we can start Django project, right? If you know a little bit about Python, then it is fine for me. You are going to start Django framework. It is okay for me, okay? Okay, perfect. So now I just wanted to uh, discuss some more important points with you. So let's talk about Django, right? So Django is a Python based free and open source web framework, right? And it follows model view controller architecture pattern. It's a it's called like MVC, right? Model view controller, correct? Okay, so this you know uh, Django software actually maintained by Django Software Foundation. The initial release was like 15 Jan 15 July 2005, right? So it is free and open source web framework, right? So and it's it's written in Python. It's written in Python, right? This was actually, uh, this was the little bit information about Django framework, but we will definitely learn about Django frameworks in deep. First of all, we wanted to check out like what exactly uh, is in this, in, in your environment of the computer, right? So I'm using Macbook. If uh, you have a window, the same process will be followed. Okay. Open the terminal. If you are the window user, you can open the command prompt. So just I'm typing here Python. So I just wanted to check the Python version in my system. So this is a Python, okay, version. So I have a 2.7.15 version of Python, right? So I wanted to uh, switch into the latest one. So you can go here and just search Python download, right? So once you will open this Python download first link. So here you can see like the Python the version the latest version is 3.8.5 right we need to update it because we have uh, the old version 2.7.15 right we need to type a command it is brew update and brew update python right because i'm using brew here you can uh, you know manually install this uh, python version and you can manually fix it in your system right the same way i am doing because i'm using macbook so you can use this command just hit this command it will take a less than a minute and it will install your latest python version in your machine so now we have the latest version of python in our system you can see like 3.8.5 right so once you will search like this once you will type a command like this and you will hit enter you will get the python latest version in your machine right okay so the next thing what we need to do we need to install django right but we don't want to disturb our whole environment of the system of the system right so what we can do you can create a wrapper environment where you can install the django and you can create the project django commands right okay so what i'm going to try what i'm trying to do here uh, you can see over here we have this development folder development uh, directory in this you can see the folder and under this folder you we have django right so here in this terminal, I am going to open, I'm just uh, redirecting me myself in this folder, right? So let me just type CD and drag this. So, oh, sorry, CD and the space and drag the folder again. So now you will be able to see this folder, right? So now I'm going to create one new MKDIR, another random folder to check, to show you like I am in this folder or not. So let's say CD, right? So you can be able to see this folder CD, right? So, so I can show you like this. Uh, okay, so I'm inside this folder, right? So perfect. So clear everything. And now we need to install Django first. So I'm going to type pip2 or pip3. I can I can type install install uh, Django, right? So now you can see like we have successfully installed Django framework. It's a 3.1.1, right? So this is our new terminal, right? I wanted to check Django is in our system environment or not. So let me just uh, type Django. B, sorry, Django. Okay, admin version. Okay, so th it's a 3.1.1, right? So now in order to create a project, we need to type in a command. It's a Django django admin django admin 
and you, we have to say start project and the project name whatever you wanted to write the name of the project right so for example I am writing here um, for example I am saying mu sigma and just press enter you will be able to see some of uh, code so let's check out the project okay so now in Django you can see this mu sigma right now you'll be able to see the, like this manage.py file and this mu sigma folder over here and some of the file inside this folder right so we need to understand what is all about this so I'm just going to expand this in my visual studio code so let me just open the DG, uh, let me just open my visual so first of all the very important file is manage.py so inside this uh, mu sigma we have this uh, file and we have uh, urls.py we have settings.py we have four files and so basically we are creating a website so we can have a multiple of urls so it uh, will be basically inside this url.py understand this concept we'll understand the each and every file but we need to focus on first manage.py so basically python gives you a lightweight server right so this manage.py will help you to uh, launch our application into our server so Tango is giving you a lightweight server where you can you know launch your web application okay so this this manage.py file will help you so how we how we can like uh, launch our uh, launch our Django project right so we just need to go inside this terminal first and uh, we already navigated to this okay so we need to navigate to this folder first so let me just go inside this folder yes so now you can see this files inside this right so we have already navigated in this folder so we need to say python and we need to and we need to uh, type this name of uh, the file it's a manage.py and just need to say run server just hit enter you will get a okay so what is the problem you have 18 unapplied migrations okay so uh, okay is it, it is it is fine totally fine for me right now so i just need to uh, check here it's a starting development server right so i just need to navigate on this only so I just need to go inside this Safari. I just need to open this URL. So once you will open this URL, you will be able to see this project, right? So this is the cool feature of Django. Once you are going to work with this, you will feel like you are working on a very fantastic framework. Okay, so I think this is it for this lecture right now. So we'll learn about the concepts. We'll learn about how we can parse the data, how we can navigate, how we can, you know, uh, work like a dynamic how we can just make the static websites uh, how we can just, uh, make the dynamic website okay so we'll set the URLs we'll set the routing system we will set everything we will learn about each and every file uh, in a deep right just be with me and uh, see full tutorials of Django so I'll, I'll upload each and every concept related to the Django frameworks okay so be with me and please do like, share and subscribe this channel first. Thank you so much.